Hey everybody, what's up? Chaz here with DroidShark.com. Today I have an app for you called Snesoid. It is a Super Nintendo emulator developed by YongZH. It costs four dollars in the market and does what it it is. It's a Super Nintendo emulator. It emulates the Super Nintendo game system on your phone. Uh, if you have ROMs uh, put on your SD card, it allows you to play them and save your games and do everything basically like having a Super Nintendo on your phone. So yeah, uh, let's take a look. All right, guys. So let me go ahead. Oops. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and open up Snesoid. Right here. All right. So um, when you first open it up, you basically just move it to the folder that has all your ROMs installed. For me, these are all the ones I've got. So um, let's go ahead and start. Let's see, I'll play Super Mario RPG because this is a uh, game that's very hard to emulate, and a lot of emulators don't do it very well. So, um, I'm going to fast forward and skip through some of this. So, as you can see, it is really smooth. The sound is very good as well. So, um, then take a look at another game. Get in more clothes. And Super Mario World. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the options. Hit menu, you've got load, save, settings, fast forward, net play, hit more, and then you have uh, cheats, reset, screenshots, and close. So for save, it's how you would expect. Um, you have different save slots, and it just saves the state of the game exactly how it is. So even if you're in the middle of a cutscene or a battle or something, you can still save your game, and uh, you won't lose anything. You'll be exactly where you left off. Um, one thing to note real quick, the uh, quick save slot is the one that will load up immediately once you um, open up the ROM file. All the other ones are just kind of secondary, and you can switch to them later. Load, obviously, same thing, except it's loading instead of saving. Uh, take a look at some of the settings. Got audio and video settings, input, net play, other, and about Snesoid. So audio and video, uh, audio and video settings, you have your... APU, which is your audio processing, which so you can enable or disable um, the audio. Basically, if you have a lower end phone, then uh, the, uh, actually rendering the audio slows it down. So you can turn that off if you find that it's too slow on your phone. Uh, scaling mode, transparency, um, all these options basically to change the trueness of the reproduction of the games. But at the same time, a lot of them will slow down, so if you don't have some, uh, uh, a very great phone, then it's nice that you have all these options. You can turn some settings down so that it'll run well. Uh, key settings, uh, there's a virtual keypad as you saw earlier. You can go and change settings for that. Disable diagonal. Um, you can change the layout of the controls, that sort of thing. Net play. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how Netplay works. Um, I don't know if I have any games that work with it, but it's something to look into maybe. Um, about Snesoid, obviously. It's just about the app. Um, so I think that's just about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at another game real quick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fire him. And 
Oh, I should have already had a game save on that. Let's open up the other one. Yeah. See, and as you can see, I opened it up and it jumped right into the game, and that's because I already had a save file for it. Alright, so uh, that just about covers everything for this app. Alright, so that's just about it for Snesoid. Um, as you can see, it's definitely worth the, two, uh, the $4 it costs in the market. Um, basically, you're paying 4 bucks to get an entire Super Nintendo that can fit in your pocket and has even more features than the real thing. So, yeah, kind of a no-brainer. If you want to play Super Nintendo games and you have an Android phone, get this app. It's just that simple. Um, well, I guess that's just about it. Uh, I'm Chaz for DrawShark.com. Don't forget to come back, check out all of our other awesome videos and application reviews, and I'll see you guys later.